Well, the old uh, pendulum motor is up and running. As you can see, it's uh, going round and round instead of swinging backwards and forwards, but uh, nonetheless, same deal really. What it's uh, running on at the moment is um, three out of those four little double A or triple A batteries. Um, the inductive kickback is going across all four of them, but the system is pulling off three of the four batteries, so first, second and third one. Um, and that goes over here to this 100 ohm resistor, which uh, or 200 ohm resistors, which pulls it down to 50 ohms, and then across throughout junction here and into our cap bank. So the cap bank is what's supplying the um, immediate current to our uh, drive coil when it switches on and um, the trigger coil, the one on the bottom, is of course what's triggering the transistor to switch on. Um, now those batteries were all dead via one and they're simply these little ones out of the uh, garden lots and in this case only 150 milliamp hours so what I did is I charged one which is this centre one here now the others um, they come out of these garden lights I bought 50 of them at an online auction for five dollars and um, of course in each one you get a nice little uh, circuit oscillator circuit an LED of course one of these rechargeable batteries and a little solar panel so um, lots of projects for them coming up but uh, the batteries out of them uh, like I said I charged one and the other ones as you can see these two here I took out of these ones um, they're all pretty much the same none of these LED lights or garden lights were working of course when I bought them 0.2 of a millivolt that is. So um, they are very dead. Uh, it has been running a couple of days now. There is the start date, it's 23rd of the 4th 15 at 3.15 pm and our starting voltage across the caps was 1.98 which was for um, three of the uh, batteries and our meter here is showing across the four batteries after a couple of days running so um, that also shows you that even though your batteries can read absolutely cactus that um, when they start to do work they will indeed um, come back to life a little so that's been going a couple of days now and um, like I said the voltage you're seeing there is across all three batteries and uh, all four batteries sorry but the machine is only running off of these three as you can see there the inductive kickback goes across all four so um, it's just the basic Bedini schoolgirl circuit um, no resistors on the um, base simply straight off the coil onto the base to trigger it uh, that coil there is just out of a uh, transformer and I rewound what we are now using as the drive coil or the primary coil. The secondary was the high voltage side which is the side that's driving the transistor here. So um, it has come up a fair way in voltage from 1.98 to 3.64 um, and that also includes the fourth battery so like I said we charged one, they're all pretty much the same as that 0.2 of a millivolt um, and uh, the one that we charged after we cleaned the terminals because they are a bit rusty we'll just have a look at this one, I'm just using some magnets to hold the clip leads onto the batteries There you go, 1.1 millivolt in that one.
and we had 0.2 of a millivolt in the other one. So I'm quite surprised they're actually starting to come back up. <coughs> Normally when they're that low they're dead. So uh, anyway that's it. The old pendulum's up and running and uh, we're just going to let it go and go and see how long it goes for on uh, one charged battery and three flat ones. Uh, the liquid cells not operational yet. I've got to get some um, more gelf plate. So um, I want to try a different type of gelf plate with those. But we're going to let that run until it dies and see what uh, we get out of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, there was one thing I was going to add. Um, in our next video, we're just going to have a look at a uh, real simple easy to do at home uh, project and we're actually going to have a look at a true energy amplifier the extra energy is actually going to be pulled out of the environment so um, keep an eye out for that video should be up within the day I'd say alright well until then it's uh, goodbye from me